want to bring in now, folks, former D.C. homicide detective Ted Williams. Uh, Ted, um, you've had a chance to, to, to see what's happening, uh, to evaluate it all. You wear several hats uh, inside the law enforcement community, so your knowledge of this from, from, from nuts to soup to nuts, so to speak, is, is remarkable. So talk to us about what you're thinking and where, does, where this possibly could lead from here. You know, Charles, um, the, my first thoughts are, um, this is unfortunately another day in America. I've listened here to Nicole, Randy, and Joe. And if you notice, these are the same identical over and over conversations we have after each and every one of these school shootings. Uh, when are we going to wake up in America and really reflect on what is going on with our young people and guns? Now, let me make sure I'm clear. I grew up in Lake Charles, Louisiana, where guns were just something that everybody had. But what we have now, unfortunately, and is a society where we have video games showing very, very violent acts. And we have a lot of these young kids that are acting as, to, as from what they see in the media and on these social media sites. I don't know, we've been told that a 14-year-old has been involved here. Well, we need to walk back and try to find out how in the hell does a 14-year-old get a gun that he can bring to school and create this kind of a sad carnage? Um, we've seen right. it, Charles. Charles, right. I have been on with you over and over again through these kinds of situations. And, you know, we talk about active uh, shooter drills at school, but guess what? This school has just been open for about three weeks, so they would perhaps not at this stage have an active shooter drill at that school. And I guarantee you, you're going to talk to some mothers and you're going to talk to some fathers, and they're going to tell you that they never, never thought that what happened here in Burroughs County, Georgia, would ever happen in their school. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's very, very sad. You know, Ted, you know, listening to your story, my grandfather, they didn't have anything when growing up, but they owned a farm, they had a shack, and he kept a shotgun in the living room, leaned against the wall, and none of their 12 kids ever touched it. They knew it was for hunting. They knew it was for protecting themselves. So I know there are going to be calls to confiscate weapons and things like that, but the deeper root of it, and you alluded to it, is what's making us do this? You know, I think drill music needs to be talked about a lot more in the mainstream media, and no one talks about it. Uh, and, and again, uh, we're in political season, so within the next 24 hours, this will be a political campaign issue more than a human issue, per se. I, I want to ask before we, we have a go break real soon, but is there a way to harden these schools, though, to make at least make the schools safer as all the other debates go on? You know, uh, I've heard about having retired uh, law enforcement officers in there, and that may also help. But if you are a young kid and you are hell-bent on going into a school and creating a havoc by shooting individuals, I can unequivocally say to you that, unfortunately, there is no way to actually stop that. You can deter it by having maybe metal detectors. You can mm -hmm. deter it by having uh, various uh, trained law enforcement officers in these schools. Uh, but the unfortunate thing is, it all begins at home. I want to know a hell of a lot about this 14-year-old and how he was able to come to that school. I'd like to know his mental state of mind. And someone, and I heard it was Joe earlier yeah. who said it, sometimes kids know what other kids are doing and they just don't talk about it and they don't tell adults. Yeah. And we've got to open up a rapport where these kids can talk to us about situations with some of their peers. Absolutely. We, we have to make it happen, uh, Ted. Uh, 
But it's always great to have the, well, it's not great to have these conversations, but it's great to be able to go to you for your expertise on this. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.